everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade rational equation. So we have the following equation and we're going to be solving for x. I'll be presenting two methods and let's start with the first one. For my first method, I want to go ahead and cross multiply. x root x cancels out let's factor square root of x now we got a radical equation probably the, the best approach is to square both sides one thing to be careful about though if we're looking for real solutions only we must make sure at the end that x is greater than zero can x be zero something to think about right yes the answer is yes because if you look at the original problem and replace x with zero you're going to get an identity how do you square this first of all uh, you can if you want you can factor out an x no big deal or just directly square it You know, there's a formula and here we have a product. We're going to square this and then square x squared plus 2, which is x to the fourth plus 4x four squared plus 4. And then we're going to distribute. And that's going to give us a quintic, but a nice one. Okay. All right. 4x cubed cancels out. Let's put everything on the right hand side and then put it on the left hand side. So bring it and then put that on the left hand side. x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth minus x squared plus 4x equals zero. Why did I call this a nice quintic? Because it's factorable. These two And these two. Oopsies, that was supposed to be an x minus 4, not x minus 5. Okay. Now notice that x minus 4 is a common factor. So we can take it out. And then from here we'll be getting x to the fourth minus x. And then this x can be factored out. That gives us difference of two cubes, which is of course factorable, right? And we can write it as x squared plus x plus one multiplied by x minus one. Now, let's consider each factor separately. This gives us x equals zero. This gives us x equals four. This gives us x equals one. And this gives us two solutions. And those are going to be x equals negative b plus the square root of 3i divided by 2. Or I could just write this as a plus minus sign. How about that? Okay. And that's a total of five solutions. Because this is a quintic, it's supposed to have, it's supposed to have five complex solutions. And real solutions are also real solutions are also complex, so that should not be a problem, right? So those are all the solutions. Do we have any solution that is negative? No, right? Uh, zero obviously works, and complex numbers. Well, here's the thing: for the complex solutions, you gotta be very careful, and kind of let's go back to the very beginning, okay? Let's go ahead and check something. I think this was 2x, right? 2x and root x, okay. All right. Now, suppose x is equal to negative 1 plus root 3i over 2. What is this? 
this is one of the cube roots of unity, right? If you think about unity, one can be written as e to the power 2 pi ni in the complex world. And when you divide both sides by one third, or I mean, raise both sides to the power one third, you get the following cube roots of one. And there's three of them. N equals zero gives you one, which is the obvious one, right? The real solution. N equals zero gives you one. N equals one gives you e to the power two pi i over three. And N equals two gives you e to the power 4 pi i over 3. For this one, the argument is 2 pi over 3, which brings us to the second quadrant, which is where this comes from. Okay? So if x equals that, is this equation going to be satisfied? That's a good question. So with complex numbers, you need to be careful because square root of x is usually not used uh, with complex numbers because there are two square roots. But when you use the square root notation, for example, what's the square root of 4? In the real world, it's 2. What about the complex world? There are two square roots. But only one of them is considered the main one or the principal square root so that it could agree with the real world. Make sense? Okay, great. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. I mean, you can kind of think about it and see which one satisfy. That's left as an exercise for you. Okay? So... The second method uses the idea how this problem came about, okay? And here's how it is. Can we replace x with something like square root of x and get something like this? Let's try. Replace x with square root of x everywhere. You get square root of x divided by x plus square root of x plus 1. We didn't get the same thing, but we got pretty close, right? Don't you think? Yeah. So now, this time, let's try 2 times the square root of x. Why? You'll see in a little bit why. So we're going to use this expression, replace x with 2 root x, 2 root x, 4x plus 2 root x plus 1. Oh, by the way, this was a 2, sorry. I messed up. And when we yeah, it was in the original one, it was a 2, right? Did I take a 1? No, no, I, I, could, I took the 2. Okay, cool. But here, uh, I got to be a little bit more careful, yeah. Okay, so that's a 2. And when I replaced uh, x with this, this should be a 2 as well. So I didn't get the same thing, but yeah, it's close. Now here, this is a 2. So we can factor out a 2. And guess what? It's going to give you the answer. Yay. That's how this problem came about. Okay, that's why it's called homemade. So if you replace x with 2 root x, it works. But wait a minute. How would someone know that, right? Obviously, you wouldn't. But looking at the, the type of expression we have, maybe you could experiment with replace x with a root x until, I mean, find the a value that satisfies this. And you should be able to get that, right? Anyways, let me show you what the solutions are about before that. Here's what the graph of these functions. Very interesting graphs, right? One of them is radical. One of them is rational. They're both kind of rational, but the graphs are similar to each other in some sense, right? Okay, great. And here's the solutions that we get from, well, from alpha. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.